one of the biggest challenges we face as a charity is that our vision is long term. Um, that we don't believe that there's any quick fixes, a uh, six-week course and a young person's life is going to be transformed. We don't, that's not really our theory of change. So one of our biggest challenges is how do we ensure a long-term presence in a community when we're dealing with funding strands uh, and other things that come and go? Um, you know, one year of funding, two years of funding, uh, and then you've got to, to, to find that money from elsewhere. Or, or change the way you do things. And, and I think, so one of the, one of the challenges we face is, is that what we really believe in is stability, consistency for these young people. What we find is we're operating in a sector that's changing how it works, where money's gonna come from every, every six months to a year. So um, yeah, that's, that's probably the biggest challenge that we face really. The problems we have is a lot of funding is quite short term. So it could be anything from a six month pilot to, a kind of one year piece of work which is so it's it's a great it's great to have that one year work coming in but i think the reality for a member of staff is that 6 months 8 months into that one year they are going to if they don't know that, that funding is going to be extended they will and it makes perfect sense start to think well am i going to still have a job so in some way it will detract however much they don't want it to from the work they're doing because they're actually having to kind of look around and think well what's next for me, so, and I just think it, that creates an instability for staff. And I have to say, you know, our staff are incredible. They're unbelievably committed and motivated and passionate. So they're doing an awesome job, but there's a reality check for them. They also have to kind of pay their rent or their mortgages and etc. And so I think that just kind of creates a level of insecurity. And actually, when you're working with a client group who are quite insecure, it's really important that we try not to model that back so I think you know that is it's very difficult and you're constantly having to sort of prove your worth to be able to kind of get that little next bit of money and I think also there is a there's a kind of political thing that happens you know certain things will be in vogue at a certain time and it, it you know and people will kind of oh there's a little bit of money for that and actually if then politicians interest gets diverted somewhere else then maybe that money isn't so available. A massive challenge for a charity like us is is mission drift. Actually, where the we're trying to make opportunities that are out there fit with actually who we are as a charity, and that has been a, a massive challenge. And I think at times in the past we have veered towards where there where there might be some money, uh, and that's that's an honest but um, challenging place to be in. Everybody is kind of facing kind of huge issues around money at the moment, and I think. Yeah, so it, it's it's about having to kind of recognise that what we we need to really kind of network and kind of join the dots really. So it's almost like we it's kind of seeing opportunities, sort of going for pots of money, and then through doing that, we're able to kind of then extend into other areas. But I think what's challenging about that is that it's not only the funding; it's the fact that with every little pot of money, there will come monitoring requirements and kind of you know people every every little bit of money wants its own kind of response to that so you can get it's quite easy to get caught up in an awful lot of data collection and feeding back for quite small pots and it's trying to sort of align those so from the point of view of the service user they're getting a kind of smooth service but actually sort of behind the scenes it's quite a patchwork kind of approach with us sort of desperately trying to kind of make sure it's as aligned as possible. But I think in any context, fundraising is always challenging. Um, and I, I sometimes like to think of, of a business. And actually, with a business, your fundraising or the way you get revenue is, in some ways, a lot more simple than if you're a charity. And I don't think that's necessarily um, respected enough by people that sometimes criticize the, the operations of charities. Because it's, it's actually in very, very complex. We, get, uh, we don't just have a product that we know what it is and we just sell it for a price and we can look forward and slightly predict what's going to happen in the marketplace. We offer a service which we have to go out there and market to a range of different funders and hope that they will like what we have. But being able to predict that is extremely difficult. Um, so uh, yeah, being able to look forward and predict what your uh, what your revenue is going to be and whether your product is going to be exciting or interesting to funders is, is always going to be very tricky and very challenging. What I struggle with is sometimes is, is that funding is geared up for the, the, 
the more business acumen you've got, the better bid writing skills you've got, the better um, outcomes toolkit that you've got. You know, all those things lend themselves to sort of almost like a capitalist <laughs> culture of, of actually, you know, you can write something better, more robust, stronger, if you've got those resources. And I um, think that's really, it's, it, it's a shame because I believe in the, in the little and that that's beautiful and that, and that actually some of the best work is done in that context. I really struggle with the, the really neatly packaged stuff because we're working with brokenness. We're working with messy situations, messy lives where, um, you know, my workers, a lot of our workers live in the communities that they, they serve in and they do life with these guys. Um, really getting down to, to being a single product that's, that's, that can be replicated everywhere and work in every context. Um, great business model. Do I really believe in, in that on the ground? I'm not sure I, I always do. And therefore I struggle from a funding point of view that, that the system is set up for, um, for, the, for those players who can, who can really afford to, to do it properly. It's kind of like holding a, a jigsaw. And I suppose my sense is the pieces of the jigsaw feel like they're getting smaller and smaller and then they're more and more kind of complex and fragmented. So I think that is, it's challenging for the sustainability of service users, of staff and for the organisation. So I think it's sort of a multi-layered impact.